Amidst the list of new characters unveiled for Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, one character that's gone under the radar in terms of discussion about the new expansion coming out is Stella Ramos, being played by Susie the Sphere Hunter, a notable content creator who covers cyberpunk media and survival horror games such as Resident Evil. She recently did a live stream where she explained a little tiny smidgen of the lore for this character, how she got the role, and the other details about going through this process of working in Phantom Liberty. So we're going to be covering all those details today and doing some speculation for a very important connection between her and Cyberpunk Endrunners. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. As I stated earlier, after the reveal for Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty at the Xbox Showcase, Susie the Sphere Hunter unveiled on, through Twitter that she would be playing a brand new character named Stella during the expansion. She then later on took to Twitch to have a close to three hour long stream. The significant portion of that was spent going into the details about Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty, what she could share of course that wasn't under NDA, going into how she got the role, what the process was like, how she was approached by CD Projekt Red, which CD Projekt Red is no stranger to enlisting the help of content creators who cover their games. Most notably, everybody knows about Garrett the Prophet who is played by Ko Carnage, which personally one of my favorite characters. Also, Ko is just a really cool dude. Then you also have Nina Kravitz, which is a Russian DJ who did a really good job as playing Ripper Doc in Night City. She also did some music for the game as well. You have other streamers as well, like the girl who went famous on Twitch for the clip of her crying at the bunny getting shot in The Last of Us. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Lana Pierce, who played the Nomad Girl, who returns your starter Nomad vehicle during the Nomad Life Path, if you did that Life Path for Cyberpunk. And it's short, but you know, it, it could have been better. Some pretty notable facts she went over is that during her time playing the demo at uh, Summer Games Days, she actually got to check out this side quest during the demo and she clocked in close to an hour of that side quest. She didn't get to fully finish it, so at minimum we know her quest line will be pretty significant for Phantom Liberty, clocking in at least minimum an hour, probably longer than that, considering, like I said, that she didn't get to play the full demo. So she will be a notable character in some regard, maybe even to the main quest line of Phantom Liberty itself. But the most important fact that was listed about this character is that she has relations to Sasha from Edge Runners. So uh, obviously I can't talk about the story stuff. Um, I'm not involved. Well, Stella is not involved in the story. The main story. She's a she's a side quest character. A pretty, a pretty decent, decently, decently sized side quest. I got to play a little bit of it. I didn't see the whole thing, but it is, it is like an hour. And there were a lot of lines of dialogue. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I cannot, I cannot say too much, but I can confirm one thing. Or, I guess not confirm, but I could put it out there that that Stella and Sasha might uh, might have some history. <laughs> so yeah, but that's all I could say about characterization. Now I want to go on a bit of a tangent here and this is going to be purely speculation because Seeing as she's saying this character is connected to Sasha, that means she's also connected to Cyberpunk Edgerunners. Which means one of a few things. Either one, she's going to be a family relative to Sasha, meaning like a sister, a cousin, maybe an aunt. Second, she's a lover to Sasha, meaning they were in a relationship, maybe they were dating, maybe they were married in some regard because there are same-sex relationships in cyberpunk and the last possibility is that they were very close friends similar to how rebecca is with david she didn't go into much further detail because obviously she's under nda so she can't possibly do that but this begs the question of how this quest is going to go and my 
personal opinion and this is a personal opinion strictly so don't take this as gospel because it's not i don't want anybody saying that oh you confirmed it no i'm not confirming nothing if she's a family member if she's a lover or if she's just a very close friend this may be a very nice tie-in to give some finality i'm gonna be honest here my biggest guess is that this is going to close out sasha's story she was going on a quest from maine to hack into biotechnica and get some information and it ended up turning into a personal vengeance mission for her because she found a secret file disclosing information regarding some painkillers biotechnica was selling to the public that caused neurodegeneration that they were continuing to sell but would not disclose to the public that it causes your brain to rot and one of the unfortunate victims of this was sasha's mother at that point, she went on a murderous rampage. She leaked all of the information to N50 Nor News and ultimately gave her life so that others might be saved. And that was the end of Sasha's story. So what I foresee for this side quest line with Stella Ramos is going to be that you're going to have a continuation of this storyline with Biotechnica because one of the few corporations we actually haven't gotten much time with in the main game is Biotechnica. You you see some things about them. You also hear about them on the radio station with Mike Pondsmith, the creator of Cyberpunk RPG that 2077 is based on, where he'll talk about biotechnical werewolves in the Badlands or he'll talk about other crazy things going on in regards to Biotechnica, but we really haven't had much to deal with them as a corporation in the main game so i believe this is going to be a finality to sasha's storyline we're going to meet up with stella she's going to disclose about her friend family member or lover sasha that she wants to do some more exposing on biotechnica or to take vengeance on them for what they did to sasha and her mother that is my biggest speculation for what this quest line is going to be because to be honest i don't know where else you could go with this if you if openly admitting that this character is related to sasha from edge runners means that it has to have some extensive storyline and if she clocked in over an hour of gameplay into this quest and didn't even finish it that means it's pretty substantive in terms of its story and what it's trying to tell so the biggest guess i would have is that we're going to deal with biotechnica maybe that one scene from the main official trailer for phantom liberty deals with this side quest line what do you think about stella what do you think more of her lore is going to be what do you guys think about this storyline and where it's going to go what possibilities do you foresee with her being related to sasha what they could possibly do with that how they're going to connect edge runners connect sasha what do you guys guys think i would love to hear all your thoughts down below thank you so much for watching this video i will definitely be doing another full in-depth lore explain video once the expansion drops to go in-depth about stella and her own storyline as well as all the different dialogue choices and options for how that storyline will end and i look forward to doing so very very soon so with all that said thank you so much for watching and until next time be wonderful beautiful and fantabulous tunes i will see you later Gang. You don't believe in no fate, uh, every day digging the grave, uh, stepping up to what it stays, uh, city of dreams, city of gang, you don't believe in no fate, uh, I might just dig up your grave, uh, stepping up to what it came, uh, city of dreams, city of gang, 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 city of dreams, seven you're living your grave, city of dreams, city of gang.